Your astral vehicle through the different dimensions of astral planes is called a Merkaba. Yes, a Merkaba is your vehicle of ascension, your light body of the human spirit within the human being. It forms the spiritual shield around the holder. Merkabas are great tools for working on your spiritual transformation, which a lot of spiritually ascended folks feel like is the whole purpose of your existence. In ancient Kemet, they broke it down like this. Mer meaning light. Ka means soul or spirit, ba meaning body. Rakaba literally means light spirit body. There are seven versions of you. It's called the seven levels of existence. I call it the seven levels of reality. Don't worry, I'm going to do a whole separate video just based on that. You have a physical body, mental body, astral body, etheric body, casual body, or your rainbow body. Um, Outside of your casual body is your light body, which is basically you as source. The part of you that belongs to oneness. Remember the universal law of divine oneness? I'm going to keep pushing that on y'all and putting it down your throat until you understand, overstand, and understand exactly what that is. Your heart is an electromagnetic field that contains these seven levels of existence. Your heart is also communicating with your mind because it's a brain that it has its own consciousness. The heart don't lie. If you was out of shape and fat most of your life, your heart going to have a bunch of fat around it when you die. And when they do an autopsy, if you worked out and was all, always in the gym, your heart going to have muscles. Your heart is going to tell what kind of life that you was living. It's always going to always be honest because the heart don't lie. Like I said, in Kemet, Anubis, who was the god of the underworld and the judge of the dead, would weigh your heart when you die against a feather. If the two balance, the heart will be returned to the owner. If the heart was heavier... It was weighted by bad deeds and fed to a monster. The electromagnetic field, which is basically just your aura, derived from your heart, makes you a walking, talking, breathing magnet. And what are you magnetically attracting? Thoughts and realities. Because like I told you before, thoughts plus emotion equal reality. Your belief system shape your merkaba. Now your subconscious beliefs system are the most powerful beliefs that program your macabre. Your, your conscious belief system is 5% of your mind, 95% of your mind is your subconscious belief system. So positively charged thoughts will program your macabre to align you with synchronicities for meeting the right people and attract opportunities you subconsciously desire that benefit you and everybody around you. Now limiting beliefs sh shape your macabre to repel opportunities that can benefit outcomes that you desire. That's why programming your subconscious mind is so important because a positively charged subconscious mind attracts and aligns you with electromagnetic fields that align with your frequency and your macabre guides you to them on a spiritual level.